tranquilidad, ¿no? Los que son escuchando, ustedes dicen, me encanta que son los escuchan aquí del Boya y del Boya de Here we have a video of a couple that's driving. Luckily, they had some kind of dash cam that's looking inward on them, but also looking outward over their hood. So we kind of got these two pictures of what was happening. And in this case, what's happening is they kind of find themselves stuck behind this truck. And before they know it, they have somebody knocking on their on their door. And then they have another gentleman that has a gun presented to them in front of their vehicle. So they basically can't move. And he thinks he's going to deter them from leaving by pointing that pistol at them. So as one guy is kind of pulling security and holding them uh, at gunpoint, the other one is trying to get as much as they can from this couple, the watch, the wallet, the phone, whatever else. Again, very petty right very petty a lot of high risk low reward type stuff but again criminals are not the smartest and so that's that's what makes them criminals so that's what's happening could this been avoided with situational awareness maybe maybe not he was stopped in front of the truck that was in front of him i don't know if that truck was involved i don't think it was i think it was just a basic traffic stop who knows it was rush hour or something like that I'm not saying that the truck in, in front of them was involved however there is a talking point when we talk about these kind of circumstances where we're caught in this kind of rush hour traffic and how much space do we give ourselves from the vehicle in front of us just because of these kind of moments you want to be able to drive out of the kill zone and when i say kill zone it's a military term that we use when we talk about ambushes and like the enemy when we set up a a, a kill box overseas or we set up an ambush that is called the kill zone everything in that zone is going to get shot at or blown up or somehow destroyed in in this case in the civilian world this is still a kill zone because the criminals chose this traffic this hour of traffic you know the rush hour and all that traffic stopping as a perfect time for them to set up a kind of kill zone and now try to rob these people it could have been any of these vehicles but for whatever reason it was these people okay it doesn't matter uh for what the reason was however when we talk about kill zones and we talk about putting ourselves in a kill zone or, or driving out of a kill zone we need to set ourselves up for that first of all so again when we pull up behind a car because of rush hour traffic or because there's a stop sign a red stoplight you need to give your guys and yourselves you need to give your vehicle that is enough space to be able to drive out of there to either go left or right of that vehicle and drive out of there in this case they definitely could have driven out of there but the driver obviously was a little scared he looks like he was more scared than his girlfriend or wife uh and he didn't know what to do this comes with a lack of experience people do not face these kind of situations every day so when they do they're just in shock and awe they're in shell shock they don't know what to do or if you know or what they could have done and and that's why we use videos like this as tabletop studies so that you guys and us can learn from these lessons learned here again what can we learn when you guys are parked behind a vehicle in this case or a stoplight or a or just rush hour traffic give your vehicle enough space to get out of there in case you have to just step on it and get out of there when a person is pointing a gun at you it's kind of hard because you don't know if they're gonna shoot at you or not again you have to make a decision do you allow yourself to just stay in the kill zone and be robbed and possibly killed or do you just step on it and drive and and you know whatever's in your way you just get out of the kill zone there is a technical right answer there but again we are not in the combat zone we are in the states in this case we might be in brazil or whatever and a lot of this happens and so you have to be prepared for that okay situational awareness could have helped you see some of this coming but now it's that quick reaction time what can i do to get ourselves out of this kill zone i'm in this vehicle i have my seatbelt on i don't have a gun i can't i can't defend myself the best thing i can do is just drive out of this area run this guy over and just go go up that ramp or whatever it is all right so again when you guys find yourselves the stoplights in rush hour and other things situational awareness is also nice to have because again you're in a kind of transitional space yes you're trying to drive but you are currently at a traffic stop or you are in rush hour traffic so you're still in a transitional space you're still kind of a sitting target in your vehicle so your eyes need to be your heads need to be switched on and then also have a plan for stuff like this when it happens prepare yourself and position yourself for in case it happens and then just a little more quick quick reaction on how to deal with this stuff that is not criticizing these people or being
being an armchair quarterback as to how I would have handled things. We're just saying that based on the information that we're given, these are the options that we could have had. Any other option would have been detrimental to this couple. If he had undone a seatbelt to try to fight with this guy, he had a buddy of his pointing a gun at him. It just wouldn't have turned out well. All right, guys. So there you go. Hopefully some lessons learned here from this video um, and stuff that we can incorporate into our lives. Otherwise, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Cheers.